Costine di manzo brasate al varolo. Everybody loves a braised short rib. The short rib is beef that's right on the ribs you see underneath, and the whole big rib, and then you cut it in pieces like this. Let's season it with salt first. Okay, let's just turn it around. You want to salt, especially meat that's going to be braised for a while. You want the salt to enter into the meat. Some pepper. Okay. Oil in the pan. Uh, let's just brown the, the short rib. Okay. So dry porcini is dry mushrooms, just like that. You can see nice and dry. Here I have some stock that I will use for the braised ribs. And I want to put some right here so I can reconstitute the porcini mushrooms here. Now, let me just turn the... So that will take a few minutes. And, uh, you know, I connect with you social media. I love that. So here I have Nicole Sharkey. And she has a special date night one and date night two. Now, the first night, what she did, spaghetti carbonara. You did a good job, Nicole. Good for you. Looks good. Lots of bacon and even the parsley for the decoration. The second night, she went all out with cheese tortellini. Look at those tortellini. They look good. Just enough sauce, a little parsley on top, and the tortellini were on date night, too. Well, Nicole, good luck to you. I love it. Keep on cooking. Keep me posted. Ah. We don't need to cook it all the way, certainly. Not even... But just brown it a little bit here, a little bit there. I think that's enough. Now we'll continue with making the basis of the sauce. I have some pancetta. In Italy, we use pancetta a lot. But I think regular bacon would do as well. The onions. Let's add the carrots. And the spices and herbs that we will add to this is the bay leaves, rosemary, and I'll put the whole branch, and then I'll take whatever is left over. The mushrooms have reconstituted, absolutely. Okay. So what I'll do here, I'll make a hot spot because I want to toast the tomato paste, concentrato di pomodoro. And that gives a lot of flavor and sweetness, but I want to toast it right here. And as you're toasting it, you will smell the aroma of the toasting of the passata, as we call it here. Okay, let's mix it in. Now we could reintroduce the meat. Let's add the chopped mushrooms. I'm gonna add a little more salt and a pinch of milled cloves. They have an intense flavor, especially in beef, braised beef, they are delicious. Red wine needs to be a good wine. Something that you have left over, that you didn't finish, or something that you're gonna drink with this, it's okay as well, you know what I mean? And, you know, we want the flavor and the, in this case, a little bit of the color and the acidity of the wine in the sauce itself. Here we have the remaining of the porcini. I'm going to pour it in, but I'm going to kind of follow with my eyes. And at the end, I can see that there is some sediment. So I'm gonna discard all of this. 
I'm gonna add some, just a cup of crushed tomatoes. And that again is gonna bring another dimension, a little acidity, and a little bit of color. I'm gonna add the hot stock, enough to cover the pieces of the meat. Mix it well, bring it back to a boil, and cover it. I will come back periodically to add some more stock, give it a stir, and see how it's doing. And uh, about an hour and a half, it will be done. This colorful ruby red drink is a classic Italian aperitivo. Elegantly served in a chill glass. Chin, chin. Salute. Chin, chin. Evita. Mm. La santé. Thank you. You're getting French now. Sure. Mm. This is a little strong, huh? Yeah, it's a little bit too strong for me, but uh, a, a little drop, it's okay. A little drop. You're going to sip it slowly. You're going to sip it Very along. slowly, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I will start to sing. Well, we like you singing. Did I ever tell you which was my favorite song? No. Amore, amor, portami tante rose, ma tante ancora. Che quelle più preziose le stringerò sul cuore come stringessi te se non c'è più l'amor che che cai sarà di me. me eccetera Dad used to sing that to you That's my favorite song yeah It was a happy time huh That's it yeah. And then the hard times came and now we're happy again here in America. That's we went from the valley to the mountain and from the mountain to the valley again. Okay. Allora, I hope not. salute to our trip, our successful trip. Life. Thank you. All right. The short ribs are still perking, but they're just about finished. While they were cooking, I cooked up some pearl barley. You cook it up with some carrots, celery and onions with these vegetables, and it turns out into this delicious side dish. Just take out the, the bay leaves, and I'm going to heat this up. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of stock. Butter, of course you wanna add some flavor. And this is delicious in itself. You know, you can use it as a base uh, for a lot of other dishes, but also as a dish in itself. And you can put peas in it, you can put a lot of extra vegetables. I'm getting ready to, this is heated up. And to this, to make it flavorful, I'm going to add some cheese, sort of like a risotto. Mm. I think we'll put a little bit of parsley that would add another color. I'm going to put the barley on the bottom, and the barley will carry the meat. So. When you're transferring Especially if there's juice involved, those small pieces, food from the pan to the plate, and of course you don't want to dirty the plate. You just put a little plate underneath like that and let that save the day. Okay. So see? As you can see, the juice is coming down. There's a lot, so make sure that you have some juice on the side. Let's put some decoration like that, and voila. So now it's my turn. Let's see what I have here. This is one that fell apart because it is so deliciously tender. I'm gonna put some sauce over it. I have some Barolo now. The wine that I used in cooking was Barolo, 
and the wine that I'm gonna have in drinking is Barolo. So good, good. Barolo is from Piemonte. It is one of the premier wines of Italy, full of body, full of fruit, delicious, perfect for a dish like this. Okay, let me taste. Mm. Mm. So delicioso. Mm -mm. Let's taste it with some Barolo. Mm. Delicious. Now, I have all of this. I have more in the pack, more of the barley. And I want to invite you. So do come to Tia Tavola a Mangiare with Lydia.